This video will show you how to add references to your Zotero. When you first install Zotero, you'll see a screen that looks like this. On the left hand side you can see My Library. This is where all of your references will be gathered. You can subdivide My Library by using the yellow folder icon and creating subcollections. Let's create one now called Zotero Training. An easy way of adding items to your Zotero is to use the ISBN lookup, which looks a little bit like a magic wand. This is really useful if you already have the item with you, so you've got the book in your hand, you look at the back of the book, and you'll find the ISBN next to the barcode. You can just type in the ISBN, and when you're ready, press enter, and Zotero will look up the information for you. So here I've got the title of the book, I've got the full information here, such as the title, author, publication information, ISBN, etc. And any of this information can be edited if you notice any mistakes. All you need to do is click in the section that you want to edit, type and press enter when you're happy with your change. You can also add extra authors or change any authors to editors if you notice any mistakes there too. This ISBN lookup is also useful for journal articles which have DOIs or digital object identifiers. Another quick and easy way of adding items to your Zotero is to use the Zotero connector in your browser. First of all, open up your Zotero and then find the browser that has the connector already installed. For me, this is Google Chrome and I can see the connector on the right hand side. For help installing this, have a look at our first video. We're going to do a quick search in the library catalogue for a book so that you can see how the connector works with the library catalogue. You need to locate the individual item that you want to reference and make sure that you open up so that you can see as much information as possible about that item. From this page, you can notice that the connector has now changed to a book logo to show that Zotero understands that this is a book. Click on this and your reference will be imported into Zotero. You can double check this by opening up your program and having a look at the information that Zotero has pulled across. I can now see two references in my Zotero with all the information shown on the right hand side. The Zotero connector also works very well when bookmarking journal articles. You can do this from the library catalogue, open up a journal article, and make sure that you can see the page with the journal article information, including the abstract and the PDF. You may need to log in if you're off campus. If you're logged in, you should see the Goldsmiths logo somewhere on the web page. Here we're going to bookmark this journal article, and Zotero is also going to save the PDF of the article so that you can easily find it again later. If we go to our Zotero, we can see this journal article has now been added, and under the little arrow icon, we can see the PDF too. If you would like to add lots of items to your Zotero at once, you can use a slightly more complicated but more efficient method of importing RAS or BibTeX files. To do this in library search, you can pin all of the items you'd like to import using the pin symbol. These will collect together in one place. Once you're ready, scroll to the top of the library search page and find the pin symbol. Here you'll see all of the items you've just pinned ready to export. Select them all using the tick box and use the three dot symbol to export either as an RIS or BibTeX file. This will download a single file that then will be opened with Zotero. Clicking on it, it should automatically open with Zotero. Now all of the items are going to import at once. When using this method, it's important to still double check that the references are correct and nothing needs editing. This method is particularly useful because it works with specialist library databases, such as those on ProQuest or EBSCO. Here, for example, I'm pinning a few items in a ProQuest database, and I can export these all in the same way using the Save option and choosing RIS.
In an EBSCO database, you pin items using the folder icon, and these collect into a folder, and you can open these in Folder View. Here you can export and find RIS or BibTeX as an option. If you already have lots of PDFs of journal articles saved to your laptop, you can quickly import these to Zotero by dragging the files straight into the program. Zotero will then look up the bibliographic information from the PDF. This works really well if you've saved the PDFs from the library website or other databases, but won't work as well if you have scanned the PDF yourself. If your module or course has an online reading list, you can export the entire reading list into your Zotero using the export options and choosing RIS. This will export the entire reading list and can take a few minutes. If I open my Zotero, I can see the entire reading list importing. If you're referencing something tricky and none of the other options suit you, you can manually add your own reference using the templates Zotero provide. Select the type of format you would like to use and then fill in the information on the right hand side. We would recommend that if you're going to use this method, you look at some references referencing guidance so that you can understand what information is required. We have a subscription to Cite Them Right which will give you lots of guidance for referencing trickier formats. So for example we could look up how to reference an email and use this to help us when inputting into Zotero. We've looked at six different methods of adding references to your Zotero. You may find that you use some methods much more regularly than others, but each has their use and may come in handy for a particular reference. In the next video, we will show you how to use Zotero to create in-text citations and bibliographies.